What is up, world, and welcome to another edition of Off the Air Blitz. Where basically today I'm just gonna talk about the Alabama situation and how um, the effect of Nick Saban retiring and the Kalen Warhire and Caleb Downs entering the transfer portal and Isaiah Bonds entering the transfer portal going to Texas. Desmond Briggs going to Texas, Texas A&M, um, and other recruits just entering the transfer portal and multiple, multiple high school recruits decommitting from Alabama. Now, Nick Saban retired, and I think it has now been at least a week, a week over a week since his retirement. So I think settling into the fact that Nick Saban isn't going to be the coach at Alabama anymore. And with his retirement, they had to find a new coach. And so the coach that they hired was Kalen DeBoer. Kalen DeBoer was the Washington head coach, and he led Washington to the national championship game. And Kalen DeBoer is more of an offensive-minded head coach. And so with that, you think, okay, they find a new coach. He obviously is going to change the staff because all coaches are going to do that. They're not just going to inherit the staff that the team that they signed to. So he changes the staff and he, he hires people and their new defensive coordinator. Um, I have no idea how to pronounce Bro's name. All I know is he is from South Alabama. And he is a good friend of Kalen DeBoer. And so he's the new defensive coordinator. But with that being said, the coordinator, Robinson, he that was at Alabama and the one coordinator that recruited Caleb Downs went to Georgia. And there were reports that said that Robinson's decision or Robinson being at Georgia, going to Georgia, being hired by Kirby Smart is the reason why Caleb Downs entered the transfer portal. And I've watched many other people's reactions and they're saying like, since Caleb Downs decided to go to the transfer portal because of the defensive coordinator's decision to leave Alabama, not his decision, but what well, I guess his hiring by Kirby Smart to go to Georgia. That's why Caleb Downs is going to go and transfer to Georgia. This is a rough patch for Alabama. This is horrible for Alabama. They're in shambles. They're falling apart. They're not going to be as good as they have been in the past. Are they going to be a 7 and 5, 8 and 14? No. Are they going to dominate in the SEC? I have no idea. I really don't think so. I don't think so. I don't think so. You know what? You have Georgia. You have all the other teams. You have Tennessee coming up with their uh, sophomore quarterback, Nico. You have Texas coming in the role. You have Ole Miss. So I just think, I don't think Alabama has lost. They lost too much of important pieces to win the SEC championship, even then make the uh, college football playoff that now is expanding to 12 teams. So I think it's something of the fact that they're going to have to build back, build, build back their culture. Not build back their culture, but since they hired a new coach and you go from having the greatest coach of all time to getting Kalen DeBoer, who not is not a knock on him. He's not a bad coach. It's just that I think players and recruits are like, okay, well, Nick Saban was the one that recruited me. Nick, I've wanted to play for Nick Saban. And now the fact that Nick Saban is gone, I think it just changed a lot of people's minds. Now, the team that they have um they have they still have Jalen Moreau. Um honestly that's <laughs> the only people I know because I've seen a lot of 
recruits or a lot of players enter the transfer portal. So I'm kind of iffy about what they're going to be. Are they going to be successful? Yes. Are they going to have a winning record? Yes. Are they going to make the college football playoffs? Yes. No. No. I highly doubt that. I'm not. There is a chance. There's a chance. There's a chance. There's a chance that he could go out and dominate the SEC, but I don't think so. If Caleb Downs goes to Georgia, it's it's kind of wraps for them. Because, I mean, look at this. Blackshear who is a defensive lineman for uh who was a defensive lineman for Georgia and Isaiah Bonds who was a wide receiver I mean Blackshear was a defensive lineman for Alabama and Isaiah Bonds was a wide receiver for Alabama they both went to Texas so it's like they're taking away those important pieces and look at Florida State I seen a graphic where they got like 6 former Alabama players from the transfer portal. So I just think Alabama is losing a lot of talent and it's something that's not um it's not gonna be like I don't know, it's just not gonna be the same Alabama as when Nick Saban was there. It's gonna be kind of a learning curve for Kevin DeBoer because you're playing in the SEC. That's the toughest conference in college football. And so I just think that Alabama is not going to be as dominant as they are in the first year. Not in the first year. Maybe the second year. And we'll see what happens in the future. But it's something to look at. And, yeah, that's really all that I have today. And there's – it's just been a crazy week for college football. And I think – there has been a domino effect with Nick Saban retiring because Nick Saban retires. Then they hire Kalen DeBoer from Washington. Then Arizona's coach just up and leaves and goes to Washington. And then the transfer portal has been a crazy, it's just been a crazy offseason for Alabama. Um, they, I'm going to definitely make more videos on on the offseason for college football because I think this is one of the craziest offseasons. And yeah, um, like and subscribe, comment down below your thoughts on Alabama's uh, chances to make the college football playoff, dominate the SEC, win the SEC. Um, I'll catch you guys later and peace out.